In this video, we're going to look at some of the settings you need to enable the new energy analysis tools. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the subscription pack is logged in. So you're going to come over to the R and go to licensing and make sure that the Autodesk subscription sign-in is uh, activated. This tool is only available to Autodesk subscribers. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we've got mass floors. So our mass needs to have mass floors. That's going to be pretty critical in building out our energy model. And then the last thing we're going to do is make sure that our project north is the way we want it. In this case we're using a project north of zero for our angle true north set to zero. Uh, if you want you can change that but you are going to want to make sure that the orientation of your site is correct and then to see that within your view you'll come over to your properties and you'll adjust your orientation to true north. But like I said in our model the angle is zero so we're not really going to have to change that. And if you come over to the site view you'll be able to modify the setting. So now I'll go ahead and close this. And we're pretty much set. We know we've got everything the way we want it to be able to build out our energy model. So let's come over to the Analysis tab and adjust our energy settings. So we'll click that button and that'll bring up our energy settings. The first thing we want to specify is our building type. In our case, we call this a hotel. That's what, uh, that's what we specified it as in the white paper. Next thing we'll do is specify a location. If you click that and then click this little button right here, it'll load up the location dialog. Then we can type in the city, and our hotel is in New York, and it'll find the closest weather station, which it can then use uh, as a base of reference for the weather data, for wind and all those sorts of things. So we'll use that and we'll click OK. So now that's been set. The next block is the detailed model. This has to do with models that don't originate from masses. So it's not really needed in our case, but we could set the phase, the tolerance, and then uh, what it does to make the surface. So in this case, we don't really need to modify any of these things. Next, we want to create an energy model. So we'll click this checkbox. And this first parameter is core offset. One of the things the energy model does for us is build a simplified mass that we can analyze. And by telling it how big the core is or how far offset we are from the face of the building to the core, uh, it'll make that void for us. So let's go ahead and tell this to be 6 meters. The next setting is divide perimeter zones. This will quadrant off the building based off of cardinal directions. In this case, we don't need that, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Then the conceptual construction, here we can start to assign materiality uh, or assembly parameters to the different parts of our mass. In this case, we'll accept the default, so we'll click OK. Then we have a target percentage glazing. This is how much of the exterior of the building is glazing. I'll accept the defaults and say 40%. Then the sill height, so of that 40%, where does it start? The next is glazing is shaded. This is if you're going to have some sort of louvers or screen systems, and in our case we don't want those, so we're not going to turn that on. Then lastly is the energy model building services. So we can specify whether the facility has different parameters or what it is. Uh, I'll just accept default, because then it's going to look to our building type to resolve that. And then the HVAC system, again I'll accept the default, but you could modify this as you have more information about your project. And then outdoor air information, um, I'm not really going to mess with, but we can modify if we need to. All right, so now that all these parameters have been set, we can click OK. What that's going to do is initiate our energy model. And it's just going to think for a sec. And now if I zoom into our building, you'll see that we've got this new set of surfaces. They were each cut at the mass floors, so that's why those were so critical. Uh, had we not wanted one up here in this top floor, I would have deleted that mass floor, and we wouldn't have gotten that mass. But you see that we get the glazing surface, and we also get the exterior building surface. So now that we've got that, 
we'll be able to analyze our building mass. So in the next video, we'll look at what it takes to analyze our mass model.